Disney Springs has some of the best table service restaurants to choose from on Disney property. But did you know that it also has 18 quick service dining locations? Learn about nine of them today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. Welcome, Royal Highnesses. I'm Taylor with Walt Disney World Adults Only, and today we are going to be discussing half of your quick service dining options available in Disney Springs. I was going to do all of them in one video, but didn't want it to be 84 years long because there are a lot. We have previously covered all of the quick service dining options in the four theme parks, and those videos will be linked in the description down below. And make sure you are subscribed to not miss the second half of the Disney Springs quick service restaurants. That video will be coming out in the future. Disney defines a quick service restaurant as generally either a cafeteria style or counter service venue that offers great food and fast service. When the Disney dining plan returns, these restaurants are going to cost one quick service credit and that will get you an entree and a drink. Out of pocket, you're gonna pay between 10 and $15 for an entree. Before we start, tell me in the comments down below, which is your favorite quick service restaurant in Disney Springs? Obviously, Disney Springs has some amazing table service restaurants, which Dan has covered in two previous videos. But there are some really fantastic quick service locations available in Disney Springs as well. They're great if you don't want that commitment of a dining reservation. A lot of these locations in Disney Springs are directly related to a table service restaurant and offer smaller portions of meals available in them. And others are unique with menus all their own. We'll be covering each type in this video today. Two that have to be mentioned, but I'm not going to spend any time on are the Starbucks locations. These are technically quick service dining locations. One is in the marketplace area of Disney Springs and the other is on the west side. They're Starbucks. Go there if you just really need your coffee and you don't wanna wait in that virtual queue at Gideon's for the peanut butter cold brew, but don't get your food there. There are just too many absolutely amazing quick service locations to choose from to eat at Starbucks. First up, we are going to be heading to the Four Rivers Barbacoa food truck. You can find this truck in Exposition Park, which is actually right beside that West Side Starbucks. Right now, it is open for dinner during the week and for lunch and dinner on the weekends. Here, you can tempt your taste buds with authentic Mexican-inspired innovative dishes that will please meat and veggie lovers alike. This truck is brought to you by the award-winning Florida-based Four Rivers Smokehouse and brings you signature dishes like the taco cone, street tacos, burrito bowls, which you can choose to fill with brisket barbacoa, adobo pork, chicken tinga, tri-tip steak, or roasted sweet potato. They also have melita and beef birria, quesadillas, and tacos. For dessert, a margarita dessert bar is your only option, and that sounds right up my alley. And you can also choose from several different Mexican Mexican beers. I know that the Four River Smokehouse is an incredibly popular restaurant, so this food truck is a really fantastic option if you want to support a local business and get some authentic Mexican street food while you walk around Disney Springs. Next up, we're going to get a little fancy at Amaret's Patisserie. Usually open all day, this small bakery is located right next to the world of Disney and resides in the same building as the Polite Pig, Harley Davidson, and Volcom. Amaret means little love in French, and that is exactly the spirit you'll find behind all of the edible works on display. Of course, this patisserie is known for its fabulous cakes, both full size and petite, along with its creme brulee, macarons, eclairs, and cookies. But it also offers sandwiches, including turkey on focaccia, ham on focaccia, and a vegetable croissant. 
And you can't forget about their crepes, banana and hazelnut or strawberry and cream. They have Joffrey's coffee, but if you want to feel a little fancy, grab a glass of champagne or one of their signature beverages like a wine slushy, bellini, or the rosa regale with a mini mouse topper. This is one of those locations that is always on my list, but I never seem to make it to. But I really, really think I'm going to have to change that next trip. It obviously doesn't have a huge number of savory options, but there are those few sandwiches if you need something to go along with all of those sweets. And if anything, you can get some really, really good Instagram photos here. So speaking of crepes, our next location is Arista Crepes. This small stand is located on the marketplace side of the bridge that extends to the landing. Technically, their offerings are considered snacks, but I think they're definitely big enough to be a whole meal. At this time, they have two bubble waffles, salted caramel and strawberry. These come with ice cream, whipped cream, and sauce. They also have more classic crepes. Right now, the flavors are s'mores, banana chocolate, hazelnut, and strawberries and cream. Make sure to check back there often because they like to do lots of different seasonal flavors as well. The modern day crepe originated in the Brittany region of France and is traditionally served with cider. But at Disney Springs, you can have it with a Grand Marnier orange freeze or an absolute citron lemonade slushy. I wouldn't consider myself a crepe person, but making this video, I think I've just changed my mind. Now let's go from sweet to savory. BB Wolf Sausage Company can be found on the opposite side of the Arista Crepes on that bridge connecting the marketplace to the landing. This small stand is a great option for food on the go. They're open for lunch and dinner, and you can indulge in all kinds of sausages and dogs, including Hawaiian Island, New York pastrami, and Texas chili cheese dog, either quarter pound or foot long. Or try the lamb, bratwurst, Italian, or plant-based sausages that all come with appropriate toppings and chips. Frozen sweet tea and sweet tea lemonades are available along with seasonal drafts. I honestly haven't heard many reviews of BB Wolf, so if you have tried it, tell me what you thought about it in the comments down below. It is now time for a super popular option, Blaze Fast Fired Pizza. You can find Blaze in the town center area across from Deluxe Burger and Zara, right on the bridge that leads to Homecoming. Open all day, this modern day pizza joint lets you create your own artisanal pie with clean, simple ingredients. Its open kitchen setting allows you to customize any of the eatery's signature 11 inch pies or create your own by choosing from meats, veggies, cheeses, sauces, and finishes, cooking them to perfection in 180 seconds flat. Their signature pizzas include red vine, barbecue chicken, meat eater, artichoke lover, pesto, veggie, sausage, and white top. And as I said, you can create your own, whatever you like. Gluten-free crusts are available, and your sides include doughnuts and salad. Their dessert offerings are s'mores pie, chocolate brownies, and chocolate chip cookies sprinkled with sea salt. And you can choose from a few different wines and assorted beers to drink. I have never been to The Blaze in Disney Springs, but there's actually one about 20 minutes from my house that I've eaten at, and I really like it. I think it's a really great, fun option, especially if you're just craving a pizza. But if you're not in the mood for pizza, how about chicken? Chicken Guy can be found between Town Center on the side of the Planet Hollywood Dome. This Guy Fieri joint is open for lunch and dinner and offers all natural chicken tenders, skewers, sandwiches, and salads that can be paired with over 20 varieties of house-made sauces, perfect for dipping, slathering, and smothering. The menu here is pretty nice, if you like chicken, of course. The sides here includes fries, mac and cheese, slaw, and fried pickle chips. They also have several milkshakes available, along with beer, White Claw, a rosé, and a Pinot Grigio. I know a lot of people really, really love Chicken Guy, but make sure you are ready to wait if you want some tenders. The line here can get very, very long. Cooks of Dublin is our next location and can be found in the landing. At this family-owned eatery, you can feast on fast, fresh Irish fare beside Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant. Choose from a variety of Dublin-esque dishes made with the freshest local and Irish ingredients, including fish and chips, battered chicken tenders and chips, the Dubliner burger, 
the tender grilled chicken sandwich, the buffalo chicken sandwich, the Cook's classic batter burger, the barbecue dream burger, and the southern style chicken sandwich. Onion rings, crushed garden peas, Dubliner, Irish cheese and bacon dip, and curry sauce are your side options. And you can have a luscious gluten, dairy, and sugar-free chocolate brownie, or a white chocolate and raspberry blondie for dessert. They don't have drinks at this stop, but you can pick up an Irish beer from a freestanding bar beside the restaurant. Raglan Road is super popular among our WDWAO Facebook group members, and I think this is a really great option if you want that Irish fare without the reservation. Our next restaurant is another insanely popular one. I'd probably say one of the top three in Disney Springs. Deluxe Burger is located in town center between the Disney Springs Welcome Center and Blaze Pizza. Craving a burger? You can satisfy your taste buds for lunch or dinner at this ranch-inspired eatery serving up gourmet burgers, fresh cut fries, and gelato shakes. Choose between a classic cheeseburger, southern, barbecue, or El Diablo burgers, or a buffalo chicken sandwich. They also switch up their limited time offerings quite a bit, and right now they have a bacon double stack burger. If meat's not your style, you can get the plant-based Pacific Island burger. I want that right now. <laughs> and your sweet tooth will be pleased with their chocolate, cookies and cream, s'mores, strawberry, or vanilla gelato shakes. Feeling even more adventurous? You can switch it up and get their smoked bourbon or Bananas Foster artisanal alcoholic shakes. Or you can choose from a few beers, a couple different wines, and an Angry Orchard cider. This is another restaurant that's on my list. My list is never ending. <laughs> I have heard just such amazing things about Deluxe, so don't pass it up for being just another burger joint. The next stop I actually have tried, and that's the Daily Poutine. Located on the backside of the Lego store in Town Center, here you can indulge in the quintessential fare from the Great White North, poutine. This popular Canadian staple consists of thick cut French or yucca fries, smothered in cheese curds and gravy. Open all day, you can choose from several different poutine styles, including classic Canadian, Italian, New Delhi, Korean barbecue, or loaded. The Daily Poutine is also known for having seasonal offerings like Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner. You can also grab a draft beer or a Canadian apple slushy here. Nothing fancy here, but tell me, who doesn't want fries covered in all of that goodness? Our last stop today is the Smoke House at the House of Blues. Located in the west side of Disney Springs, this spot is a walk-up window attached to, you guessed it, the House of Blues. You can savor barbecue classics, grab a cocktail from the front porch, a string light adorned patio space between House of Blues restaurant and music hall, and relax in a laid back setting where local singer songwriters perform daily. Open for lunch and dinner, you can find a pulled pork or chicken sandwiches, barbecue brisket sandwich, mac and cheese, several hot dog options, a smoked turkey leg, smokehouse nachos, and barbecue chicken salad. Smaller bites include Southern street corn, coleslaw, chips, a soft pretzel and baked beans. For dessert, you can have bourbon bread pudding or brownies. The Front Porch Lounge offers a huge numbers of beers, wines, and cocktails for you to enjoy with your meal. The Smokehouse hasn't reopened since the closure, but keep an eye out. You never know when it will, and that way you can enjoy some Southern barbecue while listening to the live music. I hope this video has helped you learn about some of your quick service dining options available in Disney Springs. Make sure to stay tuned for part two of this video to learn all about the rest of the restaurants available to you. If you can't secure a table service reservation or you're more interested in eating on the go, then you have plenty of different options to satisfy any type of palate. Let me know in the comments down below which of the options that we covered today is your favorite. Are you like me and have a lot of them on your list, but can't seem to choose them over the table service restaurants? I want to hear all of your opinions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have liked it and share it with your friends to help them learn about dining in Disney. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so you get a notification when all of our videos premiere. 
Also, if you're not a member of our fantastic Walt Disney World adults only Facebook group, it will be linked in the description down below. You can go there and we will continue this conversation along with so many more. And as always, never grow up. <laughs>